Hey out there on Thursday afternoon. I hope you're having an amazing day. Yes, there are my flowers behind us. I'm over at my house. That's the front of the driveway. The flowers really came in nice, right? Those two by twelves, I'm building new garden boxes. The other one's kind of like disintegrated. But I gotta get, get a couple more pieces of two by twelve. And I don't have the truck anymore. So listen, I'm gonna take you guys for a ride with me. Well, not actually a ride. I'm gonna show you the house and I'm gonna go take a look at it. I can't get on the inside of this house. Typically, I can get inside the house. This one's a, a little bit different. It's a mansion. It's in Colts Neck. It's on the market for $10 million. Am I planning on moving into the house? Mm. It's not a definite no. I mean, I ran these numbers by Diane the other day, and you would have thought I was crazy. Here's why it's interesting to me. Well, first of all, a $10 million mansion is beautiful. I think it's, I think it's 10 or 12,000 square feet. It's got everything that a $10 million mansion would have pulling up the driveway a quarter mile and here's the kicker here's why it caught my eye it's got a working horse farm it's on the same property it's 14 acres but the working horse farm which means they have horses that they board there and they put them out the pasture they probably run them around and stuff like that it can hold 60 horses now i'm not a horse guy like don't get me wrong i, I guess i like seeing them on tv and stuff but i've just never really been a horse guy but I could become a horse guy. <laughs> I was thinking of this. I ran these numbers by Diana. I said, what if each horse that was boarded can get $1,000 per month? $60,000 a month. All right, a little plug for New Jersey. I just put in the address in the GPS. That's This mansion, this $10 million mansion in Colts Neck is 18 minutes from my house. It's one of the great things about New Jersey. I'm headed out to horse country, 18 minutes away beautiful mansions manicured lawns and you got all that out there I'm like five minutes from the Bay Beach I'm like 20 minutes from the ocean an hour and 15 from Atlantic City not that I go there that often you got 45 minutes into Manhattan Pennsylvania is like an hour and a half from here like this is amazing how many different places you can go let's go check out the mansion I feel like saying mansion every time, but it's just a house. It's a sod farm over here. Nice, right? And I was about to complain about mowing my grass at my house, huh? Imagine mowing this. So this is the house. I think I'm gonna put on some, some of the pictures because I can't really get that good of a view. Can't show you how awesome this house is. Just gonna take my word for it. Beautiful. 14 acres, $10 million, capacity to hold 60 horses on a working horse farm. This is the neighbor's house. like you're in a different world and I timed it. it was only 15 minutes from my house so there's big open fields there's plenty of horses around here all right let me show you a couple pictures of that house I'll show you what 10 million dollars can buy you in cold snack no that is not it that's my beautiful house What'd you think of that house, huh? Whew, that was a grand mansion. $10 million, 10,000 square feet. Could fit 60 horses, 14 acres in beautiful Colts Neck, New Jersey. Whew, what a dream, right? I think I had this thought when I was coming back from there, back to my house, which I love my house. 
When I go out and see a piece of property like that, that doesn't mean I come home and I say, oh, what am I living in? I love my house. My house is beautiful. I have a beautiful wife, beautiful family. I'm so grateful for things. Everything I have. It doesn't mean I don't want more. And on the way home from looking at that mansion, I got this, this thought in my head as, as if uh, my father was sitting next to me. My father's not here with me anymore. We lost him two years ago, almost to the day. Before I say anything negative about my parents, I gotta make sure I paint a narrative here. Amazing people. You know, as an adult, I had to really look back at the memories that I have, like, were they really that good? Were they really that loving and kind? And did they give me all the tools that I needed to get through this life? Like, how to treat other people with, with kindness and respect and how they interacted with one another? My parents never even really argued. I mean, I had to verify this with my sisters, but my memory serves me right. The extent of arguing was my mother would be humming <laughs> and then my father would know that she was mad. It was a great childhood. I couldn't have asked for a better childhood. However, and dad, I know if you're listening, you're looking down and saying, ah! On the way home from the mansion, I'm picturing my dad saying, ah, oh, that's too much. In other words, don't dream that big. Or my mom, don't get too big for your britches. <laughs> you know, I found myself doing that earlier in life. I don't do it anymore, but I know that this sounds negative, but that is a dream squasher. Don't think too big, you'll get let down. Don't get your hopes up, you'll get let down. Now, in people's defense, I'd say that people are doing that in order to protect their loved ones from getting let down, from getting their feelings hurt. So they're doing it with, hopefully, good intentions. But as I've thought about it over the years, that's not good advice. My advice is dream big. Dream big. It's okay to get your hopes up. It's the only way you're gonna get what you really want in life. That's from my experience. So is a $10 million mansion, is that a pipe dream that'll never happen? No way. Matter of fact, I dare you to tell me that won't happen. <laughs> then I work even even harder to get it. I'm not sure that house is something that I want. Like, it's not like I'm saying, uh, I don't want it because I can't have it. If I'm going to spend $10 million, I think I want some more land. And for me, my business mind is, I want money to be generated off of a piece of property. So that was the attractive feature of that. If you can get <laughs> 60 horses in there, at a thousand bucks a month, and I think you can get even more, and generate sixty thousand dollars a month. How much is the person going to charge me to run that horse farm? Could I live for free in that mansion? <laughs> now you're talking. Could I live in that mansion with my family and a business that's on the same piece of property generate enough income so I could do it for free? That would be amazing, right? All right, so I hope you liked the, uh, the video. I hope you, you take something away from this video, and that is dream big. And if somebody asks you, who told you you could do that? You say, Harry told me so. Harry told me I could dream big. Things are going to happen. Yeah, we're going to have bumps in the road and everything else, but why not shoot for the roof, for the ceiling, for the stars? <laughs>